Who's that for, jungle builder? A rabbit and two felines? Here in the commissary, we have a really big task ahead of us every day. We do get a lot of food delivered. 400 pounds of apples, carrots, about 300 pounds. Without us, the animals don't eat. Basically, we feed them what we would eat. Like, if you wouldn't eat it, don't feed it to the animals. I woke up about midnight. It takes me about 15 minutes to get to work. You'll, you'll see and you'll hear all different types of sounds at night. So, and, and that's where the realization comes that, wow, you're actually at the zoo with all the, the different animals. Before everybody even arrives at 8 o'clock, majority of our work is done. I'm the manager of the animal commissary. I maintain and I distribute all feed and supplies. 400 pounds of apples, carrots, about 300 pounds, yams, 280 pounds, kale, about 400 pounds, three times a week. We try to mark off the pallets. JB is jungle building, C is for Congo. Yeah, the most distinctive uh, smell here at the zoo is the skunks. And uh, there's times they could be within uh, four or five feet of you. If they don't see me and I don't see them. It's so dark. I have been sprayed. Just the mist. And with just the mist, I had to throw out all my clothes. This is Congo. The main animal I got to watch out for is uh, either two of them, either the skunks or the raccoons. <laughs> Who's that for, jungle building? A rabbit and two felines? I have an order here for bears. We're getting ready to deliver supplies to camels, jungle building, and Congo. Yeah. It's amazing the amount of work you get done in the middle of the night. No interruptions. That's Congo, Mike. Oh, you better be careful. He'll run you over. Oh, whatever. He actually hit me. Kale, you throw it in a juicer, it's very good for you. We should have the Olympics for the forklift driving around here, because that'd be the gold medal winner. Working at night is very different from definitely working in the day. Lots of, lots of skunks and raccoons. <laughs> I've been working in a barn for 20 this is almost 21 years in the Bronx that I've been doing this. And love every minute of it, actually. Without us, the animals don't eat. 10 feet of snow out there, we got to somehow get in here. It's pouring rain, we got to get the job done no matter what. No matter what, we always got to get it going. Michael start loading everything onto the truck, and they'll start delivering it. We're going to go see the lions. We're going to visit our lion friends. <laughs> See that pen. Something's in there. That's your tag. No, but something went in. It's your tag. Something. No. <laughs> I enjoy being here. It's nice seeing sun come up every morning. It's beautiful, beautiful place. Mm. This is the best part of the day, right here. Seeing yeah. the sun come up. Oh, yeah. It's all right. It's beautiful. Dawn. Yeah. Dawn. Break it yeah. down. Break it down. Corn. Apples. Apples. Pears. Pears. Here in the commissary, it's, it's just eight guys. And we have really a, a really, really, really big task out of us every, every, pretty much every day. And if you had a dog or a cat, if you're an animal lover, you like to feed your animals. So we're kind of doing a bigger service because we got all these big animals we take care of. So that's, that's kind of how I look at it. It's hard on your family because of the time you work. But it's rewarding because it's like a, it's, this is like a really good organization. They, you know, they do a lot of good things. So, you know, it's nice to be a part of it. And they, they've had me for so many years, and I appreciate it. Look, look at this view, man. This, this is beautiful. Every morning, we get a food order for our animals here. We call it processing. Processing is pretty much just making it into diets, into the food that we give out to all the animals. 
the bat food actually ends up looking kind of like fruit salad, and sometimes it looks really, really tasty. Basically, we feed them what we would eat. Like, if you wouldn't eat it, don't feed it to the animals. Good job, buddy. We do get a lot of food delivered. These animals don't eat. I guess, I guess it's like me not doing my job. You know, it's top priority for me to make sure these animals receive their food.